Well, I thought about doing this video a long time ago when I first started stripping the cabinet cupboard doors in our kitchen. I'm now 20 doors complete, although you still see paint in the center. I don't plan on stripping the center. I got 21st door right here. I finally decided maybe I will just shoot a video in case I ever do this again and forgot how I did it. Now the reason I'm not stripping the center is because it's the rail that gets touched and bumped up against. You don't normally bump into the into the center. And the reason I'm stripping them is because they didn't, um, I guess, apply the paint the correct way the first time. And it's wherever we touch the door, the paint peeled off. So I want to make sure that doesn't happen again. So I'm going to do it correctly by getting rid of the varnish that was on the door. I'm not going to go through how I did that. This is mainly to show you how to get the paint off of the doors, paint and primer, in the way that I found the most efficient way. Now we went to the paint store to find out what strips the best. They gave us all kinds of different options, gels and lacquer thinners and stuff, but the thing I found to be the best is this product called Goof Off. It says works the first time, which is not accurate, but it does work the best from what I found. Now I went and put it in a spray bottle so that I can apply it easily. I've tried a paintbrush. I've tried the aerosol can, but it sprays it, it sprays it too far and over over sprays everything. So what I do is start by just coating the top of the rail with the product. And the overspray is minimal. I'm able to control it. I get the side of it. And then I take a trowel. I also use a putty knife. But I let that product sit on there. You can kind of see how it coats it, maybe. You can see it's kind of bubbled up here. What I'll do is if it doesn't get all the way to the edge, I'll just drag it over to the edge so it doesn't go down. And the edges are usually the spots that have the most paint. So I'll also put a little score mark right where the thickest portions of the paint are. And I'll do this before I actually spray it. If I forgot, then I'll just score it after I spray it. But that eats through the paint. I'll let it sit on there until it kind of gets to the point where it dries a little bit. That way I know it's eaten through it. And then right before I scalp it off or scrape it off, I'll, I'll put another coat on because it seems like when it's wet it makes it come off easier so let me make sure i get some right at the start and then i go in a manner that's kind of 45 degree angle that way it gets the edges and i'll just rotate back and forth uh, get the camera on it keep going like this kind of gets the edges the trowel cuts into the edges I'll just 45 it back and forth
doing it one-handed isn't the best, but and it just peels right off. If it gets to the point where it's kind of, you spent enough time on the lower portion and the material dried up a little bit, you can always just recoat it and it gets it wet again and makes it easier to peel off. So now you can see you've got exposed wood, but yet there's still some material on the edges. So then I'll either take a skinnier knife and go along the edge and just slide up along the edge because there's not as much surface area and I can get just the edge. And if it doesn't come off, don't worry. I've got another method to get the rest off. Now I'll take and coat it one more time with the spray. It doesn't require very much. This time, because the paint's mostly gone, it's just the primer that's underneath, if they did, in fact, prime them. So it kind of eats through, has to eat through two layers, the paint layer and then the primer layer. And if it doesn't get it the first time, you'll always get it the second time. See how easy that comes off? Now, if they did a good job of priming, you'll have more than likely a layer of primer that doesn't want to come off, which is what kind of happened on that rail. So I'll show you what I do for that, is I'll coat it lightly one more time. And then I'll take some steel wool, or in this case I have, I don't know if it's copper, it must be copper. I don't remember, I didn't remember purchasing it, but it's very coarse. And once that coating's on there, you can just take and with this steel wool or copper and that product goof off, eats into the layer, and then this cuts right through it. You accomplish two things, really, with using the steel wool or copper wool. And that is getting the primer off and scratching the surface up, getting that lacquer off. If you got a couple stubborn spots, just do a little spot treatment. Watch how good this stuff works. takes it right off. You don't have to really worry about ruining the wood with the... because you're going to paint over it anyway. And so I sprayed, I sprayed this rail again after I noticed that the primer wasn't off, but after I scrape it the first time to get the paint off and then go through a second time to get the primer off, then I'll go through and just use the steel wool or copper wool and scratch off any remaining primer first. Just a quick go through. And that lets me get rid of any leftover primer. And if there's any trouble spots, then I'll just spot treat them. I'm not really worried too much about that little spot or that little spot because the if it didn't come off with goof off and steel wool then it's not going to pop off after I paint them again. So that's pretty much the process that I found that would make your life easy if your wife wants new paint on the cabinet doors and you want to do it correctly and not just paint over the existing paint. 
because sometimes that just pops off the paint that you just put on. All right, good luck.